Today I'm gonna to tell you guys why the Anthem demo wasn't really a demo, and we're gonna start right now. What's up guys, Reckless here and welcome to Guardian Watcher. So, before anyone freaks out on me for what I'm about to say in this video, let me clarify that when the Anthem demo did work, I loved it and I had so much fun playing it. And I will be playing Anthem upon its release. Now that that's out of the way, as we await the long and anticipated game Anthem, there has been a lot of things going through my mind about the demo. Now, when I refer to the demo, I am specifically talking about the closed and open demo that Bioware released one week after the other. After talking to a few of my friends, we had come to the conclusion that the Anthem demo, whether closed or open, wasn't really a demo at all. And in fact, it was more like a beta. Yes, there is a difference, like a huge difference, so let me go ahead and explain. Bioware used this opportunity of this demo to do a lot of testing testing in and outside of the game, testing the servers, etc. So, it's been the norm to use the community to test games before they're launched for years now. This is why we have things that are called alphas, betas, and sometimes even second betas. And I don't know why companies never call a third installment like a Charlie or Delta. But anyways, getting back on track. Now it's known that these people that test games that are not a part of the company are game testers, or as many would call them, guinea pigs. But let's move away from that for a second. And I apologize, but we are going to be going back and forth in time a little bit. So, if you are semi-old like me, or older, you may remember when grocery stores sold magazines like the official US PlayStation magazine. The very first issue was in October 1997. Jesus, I was like 10 years old back then. And that pretty much predates most of you youngsters. And the last issue was in January 2007. This magazine was the sister company of Electronic Game and Monthly. Inside the official US PlayStation magazine was a demo disc. These demo discs had many different games on them each month. And it's funny because my mother actually thought that the demo was the entire game at one point. <laughs> Anyways, my favorite magazine had the Metal Gear Solid demo on it. I played and replayed the shit out of that demo, and I know I'm not the only one either. <laughs> but every single demo on these discs had one thing in common from the very first issue to the last one that had demo discs. And that one thing that they all had in common was that the demo actually worked. There was no connection issues, no graphical issues, no server issues. It's like these demos had no issues at all. Heading back to the present day, this is why the Anthem demo was more of a beta than an actual demo, as they had stated. I'm telling you, as soon as the closed demo for Anthem was released, Twitter was filled with hundreds, even thousands of complaints with people not being able to log in, have graphic issues, loading screen issues, not being able to invite friends, issues where you had your ultimate look like you were using it, but you weren't, issues where you tried to use your ultimate, but it wouldn't activate. And like, there were even times where the screen froze and you had to close out the game and get back into it only just to get another issue. Demos actually work. Like I had so many issues in the closed demo, I couldn't even count them. One after another, they just kept pouring on in. And it was frustrating, so it got to a point where I had to completely delete the Anthem demo off my PS4 restarted my PS4, and then downloaded the demo again. However, after downloading the demo for a second time, everything started to work properly, or at least a little bit better. My thing is, when the Anthem demo worked, it worked very well. And as my buddy Boogie would say, it worked buttery smooth. And I have to say that I was pleased, you know, when it did work. Now, Bioware had confirmed in between the closed demo and the open demo that the closed demo was an old version of the demo and that they had already fixed a lot of the issues that that old version of the closed demo was having. Now my thing is if you knew that the version you were giving us and I'm talking about the closed demo had so many issues then why not give us the updated version that didn't have any of those issues. I mean first impressions are everything especially when it comes to a new game and because of this Believe it or not, a lot of people had refused to pre-order or 
canceled their current pre-orders of Anthem based on their closed demo experiences alone. Yes, I do feel that Bioware should have given us a working version of the demo to start off because if you are bringing in a new IP, you want people to play it. So why give them something that is broken and that you already know is broken? That just doesn't make sense. Nevertheless, a week later when the open demo was available to the public, moving from the closed demo to the open demo was pretty much like night and day. I didn't have a single issue the entire time and I had a lot of people that I knew who had bad experiences with the closed demo actually come back for the open demo and was very pleased. Some of them actually went ahead and pre-ordered Anthem as well. I was able to use all four classes, that being the Ranger, Storm, Interceptor, and the Colossus, and got more acquainted with how each class plays, and I am definitely excited for this game to release. But there were still those onesies and twosies who completely refused to come back and play the open demo due to their first bad experiences being ruined. And you know, you can expect that to happen. But what a lot of people need to understand is that even though this demo was more so a beta, that experience should not be the deciding factor to not buy Anthem, and no, Bioware did not pay me to say that. Like with anything new, you just gotta give it a chance, and hopefully, I will see you guys out in your javelins inside the Anthem world. With that said, there are more Anthem videos headed your way, so stay tuned for those. And that, my friends, brings us to the end of the video. If you enjoyed this video, feel free to watch these videos as well. You never know, you just might like them. And if you do, leave a like, share them, and then come back for more, because you know you want to. Thank you guys for watching, and remember, less guns doesn't mean less crime. And I will see you guys next time.